John, was it a mirage? Did I see eye formation? Eye back. You did. Last you did. Time. Okay, you I was did. making sure I saw Full it correctly. Back. Yeah. I know that I saw three different quarterbacks because that's been <laughs> the same thing for two straight weeks. And the four series in switching, I mean, look, I understand. I, I recognize that Coach Gundy is allowing these guys to play it out. But I really think you're stunning all of their potential growth. We saw all three guys, once again, each get four possessions. They go a combined 22 of 32, 191 yards and two touchdowns. But at some point, when Big 12 play gets here, you got to pick a guy. Like, I was just thinking about looking at Alan Bowman, his first three drives, doesn't do much, then he scores, then he comes out. It's just tough to be able to get any of these guys in a rhythm, in a groove. This quarterback situation needs to figure itself out. They need to pick a guy and stick by him. And, you know, that's exactly what we saw from this defense. You showed this play earlier. To me, that's the game-changing play. At that moment, coming out of halftime, Arizona State kind of had something going. That big fourth down stop, Colin Oliver playing second-level linebacker coming up and making that play was huge. And then it was pin your ears back and let's go. Everybody's kind of wondered, this Brian Nardo defense, how are they going to play Colin Oliver, linebacker, edge rusher? Well, it's going to be both. And when they get in pass rushing situations, one of the best premier pass rushers in the Big 12 is going to get after it. He did that last night. He had seven tackles, two tackles for loss, <clears throat> several quarterback hits and pressures throughout the night. If that's a glimpse of what Colin Oliver is going to be in this defense, man, it's going to be awesome. That reminded me of 2021 true freshman Colin Oliver. He was nothing short of sensational and so much fun to watch. Mike Gundy, as we know, he's a heck of a coach. It wasn't pretty. It was a little bit ugly, but they go in. They get a double-digit road victory against a Power 5 opponent. Can't say that I'm surprised. Mike Gundy, once again, has his team ready, and they get it done away from Stillwater.